In this lesson, we will learn how to construct intervals for the population mean using the standard normal distribution. The union for a particular industry has determined that the standard deviation of the daily wages of its workers is $21. A random sample of 100 workers in this industry has a mean daily wage of $112. Find a 90% confidence interval for the true mean daily wage of all union workers in the industry. Then complete the table below. Carry your intermediate computations to at least three decimal places and round your answers to one decimal place. First, let's extract the information we are given. I know that the standard deviation for the population is 21, the sample size is 100, and sample mean is 112. To construct an interval, I need to find critical values first that will correspond to the confidence level we want. We work with 90% confidence intervals, so 90% of data has to be in the center between these two critical values, negative z and positive z, which are symmetric about the mean. Well, with 90% in the center, there must be remaining 10% divided equally between two tails in, um, in this scenario. So there's 5% in the left tail and 5% of data in the right tail. Z sub 0.05 can be found by applying inverse norm to the total area to the left side of the Z sub 0.05, and that is 95%, with mean 0 and standard deviation 1, because we work with a standard normal curve and z-scores. This number comes out to be 1.645. Therefore, these two points that separate the middle 90% of data from 5% on the left and 5% on the right are negative 1.645 and positive 1.645. Now it's time to, um, re to recall how we construct the interval. Our true mean will be estimated by taking the sample mean, which we call point estimate, and subtracting on the left and adding on the right a, a quantity called margin of error. Margin of error is found by multiplying the critical value z sub alpha over 2 times the standard error, which is sigma divided by square root of sample size n. So I have a compound inequality which says, Sample mean x minus z sub alpha over 2 multiplied by sigma over square root of n will be less than my true mean mu, which in its turn is less than sample mean x plus z sub alpha over 2 multiplied by sigma over square root of n. Let's input everything we know into this compound inequality. x bar is 112 minus um, my critical value of 1.645 times sigma of 21 divided by square root of 100 less than mean, which is less than 112 for my sample mean, plus critical value of 1.645 times 21 over square root of 100. Once we simplify all of these um, computations, we will end up with the following interval. My true mean is somewhere between $108.5 and $115.5. Therefore, we are 90% confident that the true mean daily wage of all union workers in this particular industry is between $108.5 and $115.5. Now let's take a look how we can construct the same interval without using a lot of manual labor. How can a TI-84 calculator can do that for us? So I highlighted the information I will need to answer this question using the TI-84. To uh, construct this interval, I need to go into a stat menu, which is right here. Then there will be an option to use tests. For that, I'll need to scroll to the right a few times. And then I'll have to choose option seven called Z interval. Let's see how that works out. So 
So I go to stat, go to test, which means I need to go to the right a couple of times, and choose option 7 called Z interval. You can scroll down to 7 or just press 7 if you want to. It will take you there automatically. Here you have two choices, either data or stats. In our case, we have stats. We don't have raw data. So press stats and uh, enter. Enter your sigma, which is given to us to be 21. Enter the mean of 112 in this particular story and sample size of 100 workers. Choose the right confidence level, in this case 0.9 and uh, press enter a couple of times or go down and press enter once and it will give you the interval just round to the required number of decimal places and you got your answer 108.6 and 115.5